Today, we're exploring an amazing abandoned theme park in Western Japan. It was first opened in 1983 during Japan's booming bubble economy and saw an average of 2 million visitors a year following its initial launch. The theme park is modeled on a 17th century Dutch port town and is divided in two by a bay, with access to each half previously being serviced by ferries. Over the years, the theme park has been the set for numerous Japanese TV shows, including the famous 1980s police drama, Abunai Deka. Following its success in its initial years, the theme park fell on hard times in the early 1990s. Japan's bubble economy had collapsed, and soon after, in 1992, a bigger and better theme park, built by the same company, had opened less than 30 minutes drive away. The local government had put pressure on the company for a number of years to find a solution to traffic congestion caused by the original theme park, this being a major factor for it being relocated. The new theme park featured the same idea and offered a 17th century Dutch port town on a larger and grander scale. It is still successful to this day. With these factors at play, the theme park began operating at a loss and by the year 2000, it had just over 200,000 visitors per year. With years of financial mismanagement catching up to them, it was the final nail in the coffin for the theme park. It closed its doors on October 21st, 2001. In 2005, half of the remaining structures were purchased by a company seeking to renovate and offer various international foods on the premises, along with a cooking school. But just six months later, the company went bankrupt and the theme park once again lay completely abandoned. As we entered, we had to remain as low-key as possible, as we were unsure if there was roaming security. If you're enjoying this video, please help support the channel by subscribing. There's a scooter here, sitting in the grass, so I don't know if it's abandoned or what. Could be abandoned. I hope it is. <laughs> it's a utility room, I guess. Okay. 
come to a second roadblock. Holy shit. Champon, famous noodles from Nagasaki. It's more like uh, ramen with vegetables in it. It's pretty cool. Very famous here. Oh, I'm super sketched out about walking on this though because <laughs> so many rotten logs and it's like fucking moving around, getting off. Get the shit out of me. This is one of the coolest places I've ever been. I'm not kidding. posters from the year 2000 to 2001 the shuttle boats that used to bring people over here from the main theme park
fuck, this floor is feeling a bit dodgy. an abandoned boat. How awesome is that? Freaking awesome. The windmill Ferris wheel. So good. So beautiful. Stairs are a bit rotten in the platforming.
amazing. I'm blown away. Trying to get down to the, the carousel. You can see like all the barbed wire. Is this the abandoned haunted mansion or something? That's super cool. Fuck. Good way to fall through the floor. This is incredible. One of the best carousels I've ever seen. It's just the fact that it's like so overgrown and you know Mother Nature's reclaiming it. It's so retro looking. Amazing.
castle. Oh, that floor is not going to support me. But. This theme park has managed to stay within the urbex community and has avoided vandalism. It's a truly beautiful abandonment and is letting nature take over ever so slowly. It's unreal to think millions of people enjoyed this place in its heyday, but I'm grateful I can experience it now as a truly surreal adventure.